Anyway. Might as well, okay, never mind. He can come, Once I guess. Find the boat, we'll look for a way to sneak on board. Yeah, if Ten doesn't fuck it up this time. It wasn't Ten's fault. Yes, exactly. It was. Mitch died because he say one more thing about Ten. I dare you. Guys, look. It wasn't Ten's fault. Ten was fine. Mitch didn't have to run out at all. That was his own choice. You see anything? The beach, um, a boat, and a, a wood street in the water. That's called a pier. Hmm. Pier. Okay, let's spread out and focus on those areas. Keep your heads low. Attention. Scare the horses too. We could get on the boat easier that way. We could. If we cut those horses free, we could slow down anyone trying to chase us. You ever seen this boat before? No. Marlin kept us confined to the safe zone. Pier leading up to the boat? It's our only way in and out. Well, let's see what else is down there. I can see an entrance. I saw that too. It looks like there's a door at the other end. There's a small opening at the top of those closed doorways. AJ and I know how to deal with those. I don't see any obvious place to keep prisoners. They're probably below deck. We should have asked Abel. When he that said on a boat, would have been smart. I didn't think it'd be this big. Kind of ironic that Lily's on a boat. Like, that's what she's against Kenny doing. What the hell? There are a few on deck. A couple others on the pier. Could be more inside. Looks like they're well armed too. Lewis? I see Lewis. Abel wasn't lying. This is it. There's no good cover leading up to the boat. We're gonna need one hell of a distraction. Walker! Maybe if we could get walkers on the beach somehow. Maybe not as hard as you'd think. The pier has plenty of cover on it. If we're careful, we can sneak in undetected. Well, I'm here. Quick skip for um <laughs> a collectible, because I don't want to miss it. Don't think there is any. Don't see why it would be this little point here. But um, there in a second, by light. Oh, oh, there is. A rabbit's foot. Walmart used to carry around a rabbit's foot. You don't think? We'll take it home. We can get it back to him once we've saved him. If we save him. Oh, 
nothing way back here. Alright. Anything useful? Looks like building material. Furniture. Probably stuff from the train station. Sheet metal, wood, and quite a bit of it. We should have that stuff. More torches. Torches? We could use the fire. Oh, yeah. <laughs> He's excited about that. Um. Right. Now you want me to look at. At what? Oh. They're loading those rafts with supplies. I could cut those loose and just ride them down river. Easy. Trophy earned. OCN. We should get out of here before they spot us. We can talk through the plan once we're somewhere safe. What's the plan? Well, they've got guards posted on the pier and the boat. There's no way we can take them all at once. Our only hope is to distract them while we sneak on board. We should burn their stuff. That'd work. We could burn the supplies or the hay they keep for the horses. Whatever we don't burn, we should take. Ruby would love to have the horses. But I'd rather steal those supplies. I can build point. traps. Weapons. Yeah, we'll steal their supplies and burn the hay as our distraction. If you're going to steal from the rafts, you have to do it carefully. Wouldn't do it any other way. The fire will lure the raiders away from the boat, and we can sneak across the pier. If anyone sees us, they'll shoot! You remember that guy I told you about, James? He sent in walkers to save us from Lily and Abel. Maybe we could convince him to do it again. If we lead a big enough group of them onto the beach, we can blend in without being seen. <laughs> they must think I'm thick and crazy. Perfect. What about after we get everyone home? I mean, the raiders will just come attack us again. What then? Hide, quick! A raider has to be. You all stay here. I'll see if they know anything that could help us. Good job. The kids your people stole. Have they been hurt? I don't know what you're... I'm not fucking around. Answer the question. No. No. We need them to fight. They're all okay. Clementine, wait. That... That's Minnie. Minnie? Oh. the attack I wasn't sure I mean I heard they burned half your school down who survived Ruby Mitch Brody Ten. Ruby and Ten made it Mitch didn't and Brody um she died Ted's boots holding up okay his boots are so old they're more holes than rubber I duct taped him up the last time I saw him, but that was a while ago. His boots are fine. You're Clementine. The girl who took over after Marlin died. It's weird. I thought everyone would want to lean on their own. 
I didn't ask to be put in charge. It just sort of happened. Is that the kind of wishy-washy bullshit you say to everyone back home or just me? Excuse me? Abel figured he could talk Merlin into handing everyone over like he and Lily did... ...like they did before. You ruined the whole plan. What plan? He gave you and Sophie away. Yeah, and we all survived it. Merlin would have never made them fight the way you did. He wouldn't have gotten people killed. Many are wrong. Glenn protected us. He wouldn't have gotten people killed. He murdered Brody. What? Where's Sophie? Is she alive? She's no. She... She died protecting the Delta. A hero. And we all would survive, yeah. A hero? God, you're Logic. Shit. Rockingham! Finish up and head back. I want to be in before dark. Yes, ma'am. Our boat leaves for the Delta in two days. Then it'll be a couple of weeks before we can come back for the rest of you. When we do, don't fight. The only way you're gonna save your people is to let us take them. I'm serious. Don't fight this. It's not too late, Minnie. You could come back to the school with us. No. No, I could Are you okay? Nothing's changed. Our plan is to get onto the boat and save our friends. So that's what we're gonna do. You all should head home. Start getting things ready. Get everyone caught up on the plan. Everyone except ten. I warned you. Enough. Both of you. AJ and I will go find James. Good luck. Hey, better not. Torture Molly, like I tortured Emil. <laughs> so, how many walkers do you think James will help us get? Fifteen? A hundred? A thousand? Clem, I don't... Ow. Gunshot wound. It feels like someone pinched me from inside. Here, let's rest a second. Give him Kenny's hat. <laughs> I keep thinking. When Wooly said all that stuff about Tin before, I got so mad. He was being mean. And Tin wasn't even there to defend himself. I wanted to hurt him. I know I shouldn't, but I just can't stop thinking about it. I want to just punch his head. It's okay to get mad at people. You can't help that. But those thoughts have to stay in your head, okay? Don't act on them. Ever. Okay. I'm strong. I can control what I do. But not what I think. Like... I think... I think I'm mad at Tin, too. Why? Running out of cover when Lily attacked the oh. school was really stupid. But he just doesn't know stuff like we do. And then, Willie started yelling at him instead of helping him learn. 
Why don't the other kids know all the stuff we know? When there's a plan, you have to follow it. And when you yell at someone, it just makes them not listen. Well, the other kids haven't had it as hard as we've had. They had to make a lot of mistakes to learn what we know. Yeah. I guess. But Tin's mistakes are just so bad. Maybe he'll learn from them too, like we did. It's weird that people are so different. <laughs> it is Erickson's boarding school for troubled youth. Troubled youth? Trouble like bad? So they did bad things? Why? <sighs> okay, um, sometimes they do them because bad things happen to them. I knew a doctor once, back when you were just a baby. He called it trauma. You have some too, you know. The thing where people can't walk up behind you. I don't like my trauma. I want to get it off of me. How do I get rid of it? Talk about really Lingard. Like the way the word sounds. <laughs> you suck it in the mouth. What? You suck it right in the mouth. It has a mouth? <laughs> what I'm saying is that, like everything else in the world, you can fight it. Huh. So, it's like controlling my anger. Almost exactly. I can do that. I still like them. I like Tin the most, I think. Me too. Even if he does dumb things. Actually, I think he's my first real friend. Oh yeah? I thought I was your first real friend. Well, yeah, but you don't count. You're old. <laughs> wow. <And> not. <laughs> Through it. Fine. He's my second first real friend. <laughs> oh, here we go. Fight time. This is unless James is gonna ambush us any second, then uh <laughs> I don't see James, just monsters. <coughs> there he James. is. You're hurt. Did the raiders do this? It looked like they had people from your school. Why are you here? Those people you saw, we're going to save them. But to do that, we need your help moving some walkers. I could maybe help, but my mask is still in the camp, inside my bag. I can't pass through a herd without it. Okay, then let's go get it. Please, I just... I just ask that you don't kill them. The walkers. If you distract them, I can sneak over and find my mask. Distract all of them? Please. I'll... I'll try. <sighs> this is gonna be thick and easy, isn't it? Not... What? No! I'm good.
You're welcome. I listened to you this time. Hey Jay, are you okay? <sighs> yeah, no bites. I know it would have been easier to kill them. You're kind. I appreciate it. Really. Trophy earned to mercy. Thank you for helping me get this back. Now, how will Walker save your friends? They're being held captive on a boat not too far from here. We can't sneak on board without cover, not without the raiders gunning us down. You want to use walkers to hide? To sneak on board their ship? That's insane. It's our only chance. Walkers are gonna die though, James, so be prepared. I have something I need you to see, so you can understand what you're asking. James! We still need his help, right? Yeah, we do. 